Since the 1950s, the State Archives of North Carolina has been operating a records center to assist state agencies with the storage of records that have a temporary retention required. We have produced a separate tutorial with instructions on how to box records that need to transfer to the State Records Center. This brief tutorial will explain how to request access to records that an agency has stored at the State Records Center. We also have separate training on how to request materials that are in the custody of the State Archives. The directions that follow apply to records that are in the physical custody of the State Records Center, meaning they are stored in one of our facilities. However, the records to which this tutorial applies are those that remain in the legal custody of the original agency. Because of this issue of custodianship, the State Archives will not provide access to any such records stored in our facilities without having expressed written permission from the agency who retains legal custody over the records. On the website for the State Archives, archives.ncdcr.gov, we have a page for the State Records Center. On this page, you can find a link to the records retrieval form depicted here. This is a Microsoft Word document that should be submitted when there are records stored at the State Records Center that need to be retrieved by the agency that holds legal custody. This need may arise when your agency has further administrative need for a particular record or where there has been a public records request submitted. The top of the form asks you to identify the name and agency making the request and to supply a telephone number where we can contact you if we have any questions, as well as to inform you when the records are ready for pickup. Agencies located in Raleigh will need to come to the State Records Center to retrieve your records. Agencies located outside Raleigh need to provide a mailing address where the records should be sent. However, be aware that we will not be able to mail entire boxes, so these will need to be retrieved in person no matter the location of your office. The most important part of this form is where you describe the records that you need us to retrieve from our stacks. You must identify them by item number, and I'll explain in a moment how you can find that number. You should also include as thorough a description of the file as possible, including when it transferred to the State Records Center, the date of the record itself, and the name or label on the file. However, if your personnel files include Social Security numbers on the label, please do not include the entire number on this form. The last four digits will be sufficient to identify the file properly without transmitting personal identifying information. Here's what a completed form might look like. Note that in addition to identifying the particular file and when it transferred, this requester also specified in which box this particular record can be found. This file will be quickly retrieved. If you are new to the process of requesting records from the State Records Center and don't know where you can find this sort of information, let me provide you some suggestions. When your agency transfers records to the State Records Center, our office provides a form that includes the information you see here date of transfer, agency employee who made the transfer, record series title and item number, quantity of records, and dates of records. Your agency should be retaining this form as part of your records management materials, and it provides you with most of the information you need to complete the records retrieval form. When your agency transferred boxes to the State Records Center, there should have been a box inventory included. This inventory should indicate precisely what files are included in each box, thereby enabling you to specify in which box the file you need can be located. If you can't put your hands on the original transfer form in order to identify the item number you need to request, you can also figure out this piece of information by referencing the transfer memorandum that was sent to your agency's chief records officer at the beginning of the fiscal year. This memo lists all record series that are eligible for transfer to the State Records Center, and the numbers in the column labeled Record ID are the item numbers of these record series. For instance, if I needed to request access to an industrial claims file, I would fill in 486 on the records retrieval form. These item numbers are unique identifiers, which is why we must know this information in order to be able to locate your transfer. If you do not know the name of your agency's CRO, Later in this tutorial, I will show you where to find it on our website. If you want to use the retention schedule as the avenue by which to find your item number, all state agencies in North Carolina now use the functional schedule. We have other tutorials available that explain to you how to use the functional schedule, 
and if you already know under which function your records are located, you can find the most current version of the schedule on our website. Simply access the Government menu and go to Retention Schedules, and then choose State Agency Schedules. Each of the 16 functional schedules includes an appendix that lists all relevant records that are eligible to transfer to the State Records Center. There is a separate list in the appendix for each record control number, and it lists by agency and series title each item number that is eligible for transfer. So this is another way you can identify the item number that you must fill in on the records retrieval form. So to summarize, there are three ways that you can find the item number for the records you need retrieved from the State Records Center. Number one, access the documentation of the original transfer of the records. Two, look at the list of eligible records series on your agency's annual transfer memo. Or three, find the appropriate functional schedule online and locate the item number in the schedule appendix. If you're still having difficulty, you can also contact the records analyst in the government records section who's assigned to work with your agency. Along with the item number, indicate on the form the file name or file number being requested, along with all additional information that can facilitate its retrieval, such as the date of the original transfer to the State Records Center, the date of the file, and the box number. There is a place on the form to indicate if this request is a rush. We should have a rush request ready for pickup later the same day or by the beginning of the following workday. For requests that are not marked as rush, we generally turn around these requests within two business days. If you have not heard from our staff after two business days, feel free to contact the State Records Center directly at 919-814-6920. When you are ready to submit the records retrieval form, you should send it as an attachment to records at ncdcr.gov. In some cases, an agency may wish to allow a third party to be granted access to review records that are stored at the State Records Center. In these cases, we require written permission identifying the record that may be reviewed, which is the same information you would submit on a records retrieval form. We also would need to know the name of the person to whom you are granting access. While we will not turn over physical custody of records to a third party, we can permit review at the State Records Center so long as you have submitted written permission preferably on agency letterhead, although we can accept an email from an agency account. Your agency's documentation authorizing their access should also indicate whether the party should be allowed to copy records. Any third party will be monitored by a State Records Center staff while they review the records. The State Records Center has a photocopier that can print copies at a cost of 10 cents per page, but be aware that we do not have cash available to make change. The machine can also scan copies, which can be emailed free of charge. In some cases, records may not be suitable for photocopies, such as if they are in bound volumes. Unless we are instructed otherwise by the custodial agency, both agency employees and third parties will be allowed to make copies. Unless you inform us otherwise, we expect that the files you are retrieving will be returned to the State Records Center to be refiled in their original box. If you know at the time of the request that you do not expect to return the file, please indicate so on the records retrieval form. When you do return a file, please return only the records that you retrieved from us and include the copy of the request form that we sent with the file. Write refile across that form to confirm that you are returning a file that had previously been in our physical custody. If you discover additional related materials in your office, they will need to be sent to the State Records Center as a new transfer because there is likely not adequate space in the original box to accommodate additional materials. If you need the assistance of your agency's Chief Records Officer, such as to review the annual transfer memorandum, or of your Records Analyst who works in the Government Records section, you can find the identity of both persons on our website under Records Management Services and Training. If you would like more information about the State Archives of North Carolina, you can find our website at archives.ncdcr.gov. We also host a blog at ncrecords.wordpress.com. If you need to contact us, the telephone number is 919-814-6920. You can also send an email to records at ncdcr.gov. Our physical address is in downtown Raleigh, at 215 North Blunt Street.